Hey, 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 welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tracy and I'm the girl behind A Girl With Plans. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a tour of my planning space. All right guys, so we are now walking into the planning area. So this is where I plan, this is where I work. So I think this room is probably where I spent most of the hours of my day. Because I work here for eight hours and then I might spend an extra hour or so planning, especially if I'm filming that day. So here's just a quick little overview of the room. So I do have a double door office, which of course is just hung <laughs> with shoes because I have so many shoes. So that kind of limits where I can store, where I can place like desk and stuff. So that's kind of why everything is kind of over on this side of the room um before i get to this area the one thing i do want to show you is this is my this is the first nine cube storage system i purchased um i got it for, i got all my storage cubes from target but i love them i love them i think they're just an easy way to store stuff and then i use the little cubes which i got off of amazon I use those just for like decorative elements. They are full. A lot of those are full of like notebooks and stuff and office supplies for my job. Um, so my planning stuff is kind of overtaking some of this. It has some in the bottom area. But other than that, this is mostly just a storage area for my nine to five with the exception of, I guess, my Harry Potter and Twilight books too. Now up here is where I usually keep my planners. Um, they are definitely on the move. They are now in my living room for active planning but I bought these from like Tuesday mornings I still need to kind of get the price tags off of them so my planners go here and then this is my work bin I do have like a work notebook slash planner that I don't decorate and it's like I sloppily write things that I do throughout the day so that way at the end of the week for my weekly report for my work I can kind of jot that down um I do have this little storage bag here and I use this to take stuff from here to my living room when I go planning so I have pens this is a diaper bag that's I think I paid like 10 bucks for it on Amazon I bought it a really 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 long time ago so I'm not sure if I can find it to be able to link it for you guys but um if you just like um search like diaper bags <laughs> on amazon you'll get a whole bunch that pop up but, like i just store my pens and stuff here that's mostly what's in here i have a few of my highly used <laughs> frequently used um sticker books in here and then some, some markers and some loose stuff and then i add stuff depending on what i'm planning so sometimes i just want to plan in front of my tv <laughs> all right guys so this is my planning slash filming area. Um, this desk is a fold up desk. The legs actually fold inward so I can fold it up. Cause around Christmas time, this kind of room has to act as a storage area because in my living room, I have to move some things out in order to fit the tree. So I'm not sure if this, is, this might have to be moved around Christmas. So I, that's why I kind of went with the fold up desk instead of a stationary one. As you can see, it's very small. Um, I don't remember how long it is, but it's definitely probably like maybe 17. <laughs> so it's very small and it works, but then I had to use an old like fold up table. I guess those are like TV tables or something of that nature. I don't remember their actual name. Um, but I have it covered with poster board because it's all stained on the top. And I think when it gets a little bit warmer, I may spray paint that white. Um, but I use that as kind of extension of this. So that way I can keep all of my supplies there and then keep this pretty clean for actual planning. Um, so I'll just give you this tour really quick. So all of these storage containers are Dollar Tree finds. Um, that is where I do a lot of my shopping for a lot of cheap office accessories um they fit the bill walmart is actually another good place for some of this stuff because they also have some cheap stuff i mean i didn't really need anything sturdy or heavy duty for this so that's the reason why i kind of went with that so i have like two of these for the pen for my pen organization um yeah i have a lot of pens and markers and then these i just kind of keep like my scissors and washi and 
everything else. And then this is like a lot of overlay tapes. This has a top that goes with it, but obviously it won't fit. But again, another dollar store find. Um, so that's that. Here's another look at my table. I keep this desk mat on it to kind of protect it. And it also is a good backdrop for filming. These are just I guess you can call them gaming mats. I think because this is an extra large, so this is an XL. Um, again, I got it from Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it, but if not, you can just search XL desk mats, XL gaming mats, and they have so many in so many different colors. I got the marble print because it's a little bit more neutral, but I use this to protect the table, and like I said, added bonus, nice backdrop. So there is that, and then this is my filming. I'm trying to see where you guys can see it a little bit better. So here is my filming setup. Again, everything was purchased on Amazon just because it's a one-stop one -stop shop for everything that I need. So this, you know, it has like different lighting type stuff. It's adjustable. It's like a desk um, drafting table light slash book light I think it is if I can find that I will also link that down below but this is very helpful and oh I just hit it again um I like how it's adjustable and I like how it's long instead of the ring light so it's not as noticeable when um I'm filming so you don't see like the big ring glare sometimes you still see like a line glare but I do like the way this brightens up the area a little bit more and I have that attached to the actual station that I'm working on but my actual camera holder is attached to my other desk that way hopefully it doesn't move but sometimes the light hits it and it moves but and again this is also an Amazon find I wanted something that moves something that clipped to the desk this fits the bill there are a lot better versions of both of these these are both very economical I think my light I got for 20 bucks but you guys know with Amazon prices change all the time so I'm not sure of the current price this was probably like less than 15 so that is my planning area guys and then this is my storage area oh yeah see I still have my ring light <laughs> um this is my storage area it's storage area for everything because over here I have clothes that like need to go to the Goodwill or I'm trying to sell on Poshmark. <laughs> um, I keep them in bins and then I throw like a scarf over it so that way it doesn't look as nasty. I promise the scarf is always there. I didn't throw that there just because I'm filming. And then I have um, scrapbook paper pads in between there. So we will go through this in a little bit more detail because I know you guys are kind of all interested in how stickers can be stored and things like that. So of course there's my Cricut on top, which I do have to move when I decide to use it because you need enough space in the back. But I like storing it up there and I think it looks pretty. <laughs> all right, here are all my planners. Let me see, do I need to turn this light on? Does that help you guys? Maybe, we'll see. All right, so these planners up here are all like current planners. So they are all 2023 planners. Yes, 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 I have a lot. But like I'm currently using what four to five planners because I'm kind of franken planning different things. So some of them I'm actually combining multiple layouts. So and then a couple of them are actually where I put my prior months. So all of them aren't just blank. Some of them is where I'm keeping my like January and February ones that I've already used. So that way when I do flip throughs, I can just pull it out. So that's those are all 2023, whether or not they're already used or waiting to be used. This shelf <laughs> is a lot of undated <laughs> planners. Um, there may be a few 2023 ones in there. I think they are mostly undated. Um, again, I kind of went a little crazy with um, clearance recently because I had this all organized or there wasn't like an, over, it wasn't overfilled like it is now, but then Hobby Lobby had their clearance and you know, I had to pick up some more planners. But when they're un undated, I mean, I can use them next year, year after next, or whenever. So I feel like I had to get it. So yeah, that's there. And I like to keep them separated so it's easier for me to find. So I know if I need something undated, go there. If I need something for this year, go there. I do need to remember which disc <laughs> or which because it makes it easier to pull out. Because I'm sitting here, I'm going to pull out each one to figure out which one is which when I need it. So I definitely need a better way of identifying it. Um, I do know they have covers, 
that you can place on it so it has like a thick spine and you can like label it but I don't know if I want to invest in that right now all right I hope I'm gonna have to get down on get down low so I hope this doesn't like make anybody sick I'm trying to go slow so that way the camera doesn't go too fast all right so this is where I store my sticker books that are larger from like the smaller shops like Caliva Plan, Live La Posh, Amber Plants Her Day. This is where I store that. I have this little plastic bin. Let me see if I can grab it out. This came from Ross. <laughs> um, so yeah, Ross, TJ Maxx, places like that have great storage. Tuesday mornings, if you have one near you, great storage. So these fit perfectly with room to spare. So I have some stuff in the back. So I have like some wrong, wrong sticker packs and stuff like that. I had to use these for washi storage before I had to upgrade. These also came from the Dollar Tree. Love them, but I can't find them anywhere. So that's why I had to upgrade to a bigger <laughs> storage container, which is here. And I'm not going to pull that out because it's going to be hard to do one handed. But this is so big, it like overhangs here. And I think it overhangs on the back too. So <laughs> that tells you about how big it is. I got that from Joanne. Um, so yeah, that is my washi storage. All right, and then I have some more of these like cubes. This one is the heavy one. It kind of maintains any like filler paper. My filler paper goes on that first cube. Remember where I said that I had some planner stuff at the bottom of that one cube, storage cube area. All my filler paper and any type of like guided journals are over there. But here are some extras. And then I have some extra extension packs and stuff like that and wax paper. So this is stuff that I really probably won't be using in the immediate future. So it's kind of there because for me, out of sight, out of mind. So I want to put like stuff that I use kind of in the forefront. And then this is kind of just an empty, it's almost empty. <laughs> but uh, this is where I have like my correction tape and stuff like that for now. I have room to put more stuff, guys. <laughs> All right, and now sticker storage. So I'll scroll up really quick or really slow, but just to kind of show you my sticker storage and then I'll kind of explain it. So all these boxes came from Happy Planner. So they're just the Happy Planner sticker storage. Well, they didn't come technically from the Happy Planner site. A few of them did. Like this one came from a bundle that I bought. But a lot, and I think this one came from the Happy Planner site too. So those two, but then all of those came from Joanne because, you know, Joanne has a lot of stuff sometimes on sale and then you can use coupons as long as they aren't door busters. All right, so I'm going to sit down really quick. <laughs> um, so that way I can show you some more of these. I love using mini three ring, three ring binders and sheet protectors to store a lot of my functional stickers because a lot of sticker books have a couple of pages of functional stickers in each book and I wanted to put them all together so that they are easier to find. So some of you may have seen this in a plan with me but I definitely want to show you guys. So so like you see here I put I found these currently words in a sticker book. I would never be able to find them when I needed them so that's why I pulled them out here. Here's some more currently words. So that's what I did. So these are my functional words. Like all of these came from the Botanicals um, mega book. Yes, it would have been easy just to keep them in the book, but I just find they're so much easier just to pull them all out and put them here. So that's kind of what I do. These are the these are all functional words. And then the pink ones are fitness. I'm not gonna pull those out because I flip through those enough when I do my plan with me's but I wanted to put all of my fitness stickers together, especially because I have duplicate books of some. So then if they're duplicates, they go in the same page protector. So that's also nice. And then I have a bullets checklist and icons. And then I'm also getting one more and I'm going to put all of my holiday words, days of the week, months, and dates in there. So that way I have that means I have all these undated planners. So I labeled, I tried my best to kind of label the boxes according to kind of similar similarities so like this is functional so these are all box stickers most of them are boxes you see this is budget because i didn't know where to put it but this is a cool idea your little half sheet filler papers fit in here so i have a lot of half sheets in here so you know 
tip there. If you want a place to store your half sheets and you don't have any more binders to store them in or planners to store them in, you can just put them there. So this is motivation, travel, and wellness. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'll, uh, sorry guys, I hope this doesn't shake too much as I get up. <laughs> Old lady knees. Um, so like motivation, travel, and wellness, Ob obviously travel, like boss babe, year to shine, stuff like that. And then this is animals, florals, and seasonal. Some of these got labeled that way just based on the number of stickers I have and how they would fit. <laughs> um, so Disney and dolls, <laughs> I have a lot. So like I would need another box if I were to buy any more. I think I'm gonna like kind of cut back. <laughs> and then this one is color story. I wrote color story, but it's basically books that are more organized based on colors and then quotes and basics. So like wild style is in here. Like you would think that it might be animals, but there's no animals. It's all like animal print stuff. So that's why that's up here. Then of course your color stories. I put productivity in here too, just because I feel like I would use that more based on color than like function. And then like glitter paint. So that's kind of what I put in here. And then the um, Joann's line or the blue and green leaf ones back there. And they are based on colors. So guys, that is it. <laughs> that is my planning space room kind of overview. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe this gave you some storage ideas. Maybe it gave you some ideas of how to kind of set up a planning space in a small room or area. Um, I will try to link any of the products that I can find on Amazon. Some of this stuff was purchased a really long time ago, so I'm not 100% sure that I'll be able to find it, but if I can, I will try my best to link it down below. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you are not already subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel as it does help with the YouTube algorithms and it will help me grow my channel. That is all I have for today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and I do want to thank you for spending time with me today. All right, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time, bye.